This is problem number 10, and it is a word problem. It says a cylindrical tank holding 1,200 gallons of water can be drained in an hour. The volume of water in the tank can be measured according to the formula. B of T equals 1,200 times 1 minus T over 60 quantity squared, where 0 is less than or equal to T, which is less than or equal to 60. And that's because we only have 60 minutes, and T is measured in minutes. And V of T is the number of gallons of water remaining in the tank. So they want us to first find the average rate of change of volume in the first 30 minutes from 0, T equals 0 to T equals 30. So what this is asking us to do is find the average rate of change. And remember that is a formula. Average rate of change is f of x sub 2 minus f of x sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Or we sometimes think of it as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So t of 30, that's our x sub 2, and our t of 0 is our x sub 1. So we need to figure out the points. So we've got 0 comma blank and 30 comma blank. So we need to figure out our y values for both of those. So we need to find v of 0 first, and that's just going to be 1,200 times 1 minus 0 over 60 quantity squared. So that just equals uh, 1,200 times, this is going to be 0, 1 squared is 1 times 1, which is equal to 1,200. So our first point is 0, 1,200. Our second point, B of 30, is equal to 1,200 times 1 minus 30 over 60 quantity squared. 30 over 60 we know is 1 half. So 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. And 1,200 times 1 fourth is equal to 300. So my second point is 30 comma 300. So now that I have both of those points, I'm going to leave this up for a second. Now that I've found both of those points, I need to take them and put them into my average rate of change formula, which is my y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So I'm going to pick this as my, um, my sub 1 point, and this is my sub 2 point. So that gives me 300 minus 1,200 over 30 minus 0, and this is equal to average rate of change. So that gives me negative 900 over 30. That simplifies to be negative 30. And so that is the rate of my volume um, from 0 to 30. So what it means is that my, from part A, that my volume is decreasing by 30 gallons per minute. And I know that it's decreasing because of this negative here. I know that this, um, I'm talking about volume, so I know that this is in gallons, because that's what we were told. Um, so therefore, looking at this problem, we can already eliminate answers B, C, and E, because those do not have the first portion A correct. Um, so we're now only looking at possibilities of A or D for this answer but we need to solve the second portion, part B. So now that we know that what part A is, part B wants us to find the rate of change at t equals 30. So to find the rate of change, we know that that is the derivative 
So we're going to find V prime of 30. So V prime, I'm going to do the um, change or uh, the power um, chain formula. So that gives me 2400 times 1 minus t over 60 to the 2 minus 1, which is just going to be 1 power, times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be negative 1 over 60. So I can simplify this a little bit. 60 goes into 2400 40 times. So now I have negative 40, 1 minus t over 60. And again, I'm finding V prime now of 30. So now I can plug in 30 for T, and I get negative 40. I guess we were just really solving for V prime of T here. Negative 40 times 1 minus 30 over 60. We know 30 divided by 60 is going to give me 1 half. 1 minus 1 half is just 1 half times a negative 40 is equal to a negative 20. So for the second portion, it wants to know the rate of change at t equals 30. That answer is that the volume is decreasing by 20 gallons per minute. And the only answer with both A and B correct is the answer, the first answer of A. So that is question number 10.